It's always been a challenge for people to get around on public transit in Summit County beyond Park City. But High Valley Transit is starting to make a difference after they launched it last summer. Now, new specialist Jed Bull shows us what kind of expansion they have planned. Jed. We're on the U.S. 40 frontage road near Home Depot where High Valley Transit just broke ground for their new headquarters. They're going to need that room to expand as they also add a bus rapid transit route. This has been an amazing year for High Valley Transit. Summit County launched High Valley Transit as a fare-free service last summer. High Valley Transit is focused on service between areas in Summit County and key destinations in Park City. They aim to reduce traffic, improve access to jobs, reduce parking demand, increase tourism, and minimize environmental impact. The adoption by our community, um, both those that live here and those that come and visit and those that come to work. Um, have all adopted. More than they ever expected. One million riders in the first year and 45,000 downloads of their app. <laughs> On this eight-acre site, Big D Construction will build an administration building, a maintenance building, and a bus garage. So these three buildings will be key to um, our operations and being able to expand throughout the Wasatch back. The $26 million headquarters will be paid for with bonds and state transportation money. A transit system allows people to get to and from work more easily, less, with less cost, and to take cars off the highway. It's good all around. Senator Mitt Romney and Representative John Curtis were on hand. They helped secure $25 million in federal money for a bus rapid transit route. Electric buses will run in dedicated lanes in each direction on SR-224 from Kimball Junction to Kearns Boulevard in Park City. That should help alleviate some of the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic that has developed in recent years on big ski days, during Sundance Film Festival, and popular summer events. And this, I think, will change that and make the whole experience much better for, for guests that come up in this area and for residents who don't have to fight with all of those cars. Both the bus rapid transit route and the headquarters are slated for completion sometime in 2024. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowell.